This past Sunday, the fourth Sunday of Easter, was also known as Good Shepherd Sunday and also World Day of Prayer for Vocations. For certainly our readings today remind us all of us are called to be good shepherds. All of us are called to pray for holy vocations, whether that be the vocations to the priesthood, the religious life, or the married life. Certainly all of us are challenged to be good shepherds, to care for the flock entrusted to us. Before I entered the seminary, I used to work for the Army Corps of Engineers as a civil engineer. And there was a story about a little boy that one day wandered into a dangerous construction site. He climbed over the fence. He unknowingly jumped into the construction site and began to wander around in the midst of all the excavation, in the midst of all the heavy equipment. And the little boy came upon a worker and he said to the man, Mr. What are you doing here? And the man looked at him angrily and said, hey kid, leave me alone. I'm working here making $40 an hour. That's what I'm doing. Get out of my way. The little boy continued to walk through the dangerous construction site and saw another man laboring. And he said to him the very same question, mister, what are you doing? And the man said, get out of my way. I'm making lots of money here so that I can buy a big house and a fancy car and a boat. That's what I'm doing here. And he left them and continued to wander around the dangerous site. And then the little boy came upon a third man and he asked him the very same question, Mr. What are you doing here? And the man bent down on one knee and said, son, I'm building the kingdom of heaven. That's what I'm doing here. Then he picked up the little boy, put him on his shoulders, and carried him to safety outside of the construction site. My brothers and sisters, that man, that last man, was a good shepherd. He was concerned about the sheep, about the lambs, and trusted to his care. All three men were doing the very same job. They were stonemasons. They were laying one stone on top of another, building a structure. But only one man, the last man, the man that could be considered a good shepherd truly understood why he was there, what his purpose was, to build the kingdom of God, to use his knowledge, to use his talent, to use his skills, to build on God's creation, to make the world a better place to live. And like good St. Joseph, to protect and to provide and to care for the flock entrusted to him. My brothers and sisters, whether we're priests, deacons, whether we're moms or dads, grandmas or grandpas, whether we're teachers, owners of companies, no matter what we are, all of us in some way are called to become good shepherds ourselves, to be good stewards of the gifts that God has entrusted to our care, to recognize what the purpose of our existence is, to build God's kingdom on earth, to care for the flock entrusted to us, to be good shepherds and to pray for more good shepherds in our church and in our world. God bless you.